Well, hi there. Today is, I guess I don't need these, is day two of um, the challenge of um, this new time of being in quarantine. And just the, yesterday we had the new moon and a day of like making intentions and just kind of reflecting on uh, what is it that we now want. And I think it's such a great question to reflect on right now because our priorities have changed so much and we're going through so much change and um but it's like we have this this also this amazing opportunity of a great start of um you know and harnessing the power of the new moon just to kind of help carry those intentions out so yesterday um if you saw the the live i i suggested that we write down some of our intentions and uh, it could be just like one big general intention of like creating more peace more harmony uh, more joy for the earth uh, celebrating earth day or it could be more specific like what are your new goals what what things do you want to work on and uh, and really asking your heart and and going within and and uh and just reflecting on what is it that is coming up for you that is most present um you know could be professionally could be in your relationships could be in your body in your health and and um and writing those downs and today i want to invite us to uh because in, Fear is such a big part right now. It's so present in our collective um, to talk about fear and uh, and to write down in your journal the things, if if that is your case, things that make you scared, that fearful. Um, and, and again, going into that self-inquiry into your heart and, and saying, you know, what is it that, that is not helping me advance into my... Um, to fulfill my desires or that or that the desires that I now have I don't believe that they can manifest because I'm scared of this and this and this so just uh having that self um inquiry and writing those down and now I I wrote a post today about fear and this is my take and um but also you know an just an invitation for you to ponder this it's um as I've studied fear and and gone within myself and and uh you know processing things that make me scared there are a few things that are really key when I go there and uh and my suggestion in the post is to make fear my ally one of my best friends to befriend my fear and to see him as a friend that comes to knock on the door and tells me that something's up and if I don't want to open the door and I don't want to get the message he's just going to get louder because that's his job his job is to protect me to to um you know to to let me know that there's something that i must be believing in order for him to be showing up at the door so, or he wouldn't be there <laughs> uh and so listening to what the message that he's bringing is like befriending him and say hey okay come in let's 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 talk I see you're, you've come to visit. What What is it that you want to talk about? I'm scared, but let's talk about this. Um, and so just having that attitude with fear to like, you know, make him um, the ally and, and asking ourselves, like, what do we have? What would I have to believe is true in order to feel this way? Because when we fear fear, if we see it as just, it, it's a sign, it's, it's that, you know, that that message that is coming that is telling us to reroute to change the thought to change the way we look at it to uh alert us that are we in true real danger of dying or are we in danger because we're believing something that is not in alignment with our true nature with our true self and just shedding the light on that and asking the question can really bring insight into what the whole thing is about and instead of you know not um not being willing to to go there so so the invitation is to make fear our ally in order for for it to help us to bring the message that it's meant to to give us so that we can continue carrying forward in our lives and um and so you know um 
also one of the the other things that I I want to mention and and uh, that you might want to integrate if if you're doing this this twenty one day challenge with me, um, is to as you as you write down your your uh, on your journal the the daily you know the 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 daily um, invitation um, that you find a space in your house in your your room wherever in your home to create this sacred uh, moment for yourself like a meditation place and um, a lot of the things that I invite us to do are those self inquiries to go within and uh, pause ask your heart um, and in this case is what is what are my fears coming up for me right now and what are they wanting me to know what action what um what direction what is the like you know the the guidance that i need from this fear and really pausing and listening to the to the guidance um and it might be helpful if you're you know if this is something that you're open to to praying the serenity prayer serenity prayer is like so good in so many ways uh and especially right now and uh and it goes like this it goes god grant me you know and you can change it to whatever you believe in it doesn't have to say god but to a higher power to something greater larger than us that knows that that you know wants the best for us grant me the serenity to accept the things that i cannot change the courage to change the things that i can and the wisdom to know the difference it's like three things give me serenity give me courage and give me wisdom and um, that just hopefully just puts us in a state where that we can you know take that that you know that thing that could be weighing us down that we believe that we have we're in charge of, of doing to just say okay there's the, you know what there's things that are out of my control and I just want the the wisdom to know the difference between the ones that I can uh, control to know that I do have the courage and when I'm in alignment meaning when I'm connected with myself with my source I I will have the courage to change the things that I can um, and uh, and the serenity I can have the serenity to to accept the things that that I cannot change and the the wisdom to know the difference and uh as i do in in with my heart math coaching is to get into that serenity place into that place where you will have the wisdom to know the difference um is in when our heart brain our nervous system are in alignment meaning we're in a state of of peace we're in a state of harmony we're in a state of ease and we can ha access that like just kind of like going through the eye to, of the needle to find that wisdom you know because we can't find wisdom or serenity when we're in fear and in survival and um so so the invitation is for you to have a space in your house create it today because <laughs> We sure need to find moments and spaces to create that state of being that we need in order to make better choices, in order to be proactive, in order to create in ourselves this sense of this is all going to be okay. Or, you know, my fears um, are just trying to tell me something and uh, and I don't need to let them paralyze me or to to go make me go into survival or to drain my energy more than they need to they just uh are, are asking me or trying to tell me something that i can um that i can look at with more objectivity um so yeah i, I take a look at the post today it it uh it's called fear my best ally fear is my uh fear is my dear ally and uh and i hope uh, I, I i hope you go within today and uh and take a look at your fears and to take a moment to go into that sacred
place of yours and go within and see what you can find out about the guidance that they're giving you or that it is giving you and uh okay well i hope uh that is a value to you today i hope you have a beautiful thursday and uh i'll see you tomorrow for day three <laughs> saludos a mis amigos so nice to see you all right bye